Hey guys, Mike here, Animation Tutorials, and welcome back to a new video. All right, so what are we going to do today? We are going to create an embossed um, Indian motorcycle logo on a uh, surface. Okay, we're going to use Maya and Quixel Suite for that today. Um, if you don't have Quixel Suite, you can also do this with something like uh, Filter Forge or any uh, application that will help you to transfer a photo into a normal map. Okay, but I'll explain that. Okay. So we're not going to be too fussy about the object. We're just going to create a cube. And we're going to raise that up like so. And first, we're going to position our texture for our Indian logo on this. And we're going to UV it to make sure it's positioned correctly. And then we're going to get into the normal map creation. All right. So we're going to right click, go to face. Actually, we'll do the object. We'll select the object and we'll do uh, create UVs. We'll do automatic. We'll go to edit UVs, UV texture editor, and let's see what we got. That's not too bad. Let's uh, stitch this together. Right click shell. We'll take that one. We'll hit W and we'll move it over. And it'll go up here. Right click edge. We'll take the top edge that corresponds with this one over here. So we're going to click on move and sew. So that's now stitched together. And we're going to right click the edge again and we're going to repeat that process all the way around. And then we still have this guy and that connects there. Okay. So now if we right click and go to shell and we select it, we got the whole thing. All right. We're going to move that in here and we're going to go to polygons layout just so it's fitting nicely in our zero to one space. Not quite sure yet if we need to rotate it or not. For that, we're going to need our uh, our texture. Okay. So right click object mode, right click assign new material, and we'll do a, uh, a blend. Okay. We're going to hit our checkered box next to the color tab. We'll give that a sec. We'll select file, folder, and on my desktop I have the Indian logo. There we go. We're going to turn on textured. And as you can see, it's not positioned correctly. Okay. So we're going to right click at object mode. We're going to go to edit UVs, UV texture editor. We're just going to turn off the smiley guy here so we can see what's going on. Let's rotate this. Okay. So one more, one more. That's fine. And now we're going to hit R. <coughs> Sorry, not there, here. Right click shell. And first we're going to hit W and move it. And let's see if we can get that position correctly. Now we can, but you can see that we do need to do some scaling. So we're going to hit R. And we want to do it to an extent that the UV is not repeating itself. Let's push that in a bit and then hit W and bring that down and you can see over here that that's starting to look okay let's actually just move that a little bit like so okay not too bad all right so that's the easy part so we got our logo going on now I'm gonna go into Quixel Suite so I'm just going to open Photoshop. I'm going to click on Undo. And again, if you don't have a Quixel Suite, you can use any other program that allows you to uh, transform images into normals. Okay. All right. I'm going to hit this guy right there, and I'm going to select Photo Normals Presets. And what we're going to do is we're going to select File. And where do you go? Indian logo. There we go. We'll give that a sec. And as you can see, it's now building layers and creating our normal. Okay, there we go. Now, <clears throat> we're just going to see, you know, if we need to tweak it or not because we don't want to have a too extreme 
set there. So let's just uh, play a little bit with the settings. And make it just a little bit more subtle. Okay, and we don't want to lose this detail here. So we're gonna give that a try, okay? So we're gonna go to File, Save As, and I'm gonna save this as a JPEG. Uh, where'd you go? Right there. I'm gonna save it on my desktop, and I'll call this Indian Normal, okay? And just save that out. I'm going to go back to Maya. I'm going to go into the blend material that I created. All right, I'm going to go to bump mapping, select my checkered box. I'm going to select file. Now, I don't want to use this as a bump map, but as a tangent space normal. And I probably want to bring down the bump value a little bit. So let's do 0.5. Then we're going to go to File, Folder, and um, da -dum, da -dum. where do you go? Indian Normal. All right. And there you have it. There is your um, embossed logo. As you can see, it's stretching out a bit over the back and so forth. So what I can do to fix that is to right click at a face and we'll just UV the top face, okay? But you can see the effect already, so we'll just get into that. We're gonna go to create UVs. We'll do planar mapping on the top. And for the rest here, right click face, just to clean that up a little bit. Assign new material plane and what we'll do there is we will get into the color tab we'll make that fairly dark gray then we'll get into reflectivity we're gonna bump that way up all right and we'll quickly create a scene here that we can render so I'm just going to create a plane, like so. Create lights, point light. I need W to pull that up, pull it out. I'm going to hit seven so I can see my light. And now you can clearly see that this is embossed, like so. All right. Now. That's one way you can do it. And we'll do a quick render on this, okay? I'm gonna go to my render settings. I'm gonna use mental ray. I'm just gonna quickly go through this. HD 1080, quality tab. I'm gonna increase that to about 1.5. Indirect lighting. Uh, I'm going to set up global illumination. Difficult word, right? Okay, that should be it. And I'll pause the video, do a quick render, and see you guys in a sec. All right, guys, well, there you have it. There's our embossed logo. And uh, obviously, you can apply this technique on, uh, you know, motor components, on, you know, our air filter covers and so forth. Just wanted to show you the technique, and uh, yeah, hopefully you have fun with that. So if you've got any questions, as always, let me know. And that said, thank you guys for watching, and I would love to see you guys again. Bye.